I do not have time for games. A shame, as I was hoping you might play one with me. Assassin's Creed Revelations. The end to the Ezio trilogy is the shortest when it comes to beating the story, clocking in at about 12 and a half hours. The setting is Constantinople, where Ezio arrives to find Altair's memory and access the vault that contains an Apple of Eden. The far more simplistic main story and the smaller size of the city is what reduces the runtime compared to previous installments. However, completionists can take as much as 35 hours if they want to achieve everything possible. The Romani curse becomes our blessing. Perhaps then people will leave us be. This includes finishing Desmond's present-day puzzle sequences, crafting the many types of bombs that Ezio has in his possession, and removing all Templar presence from Constantinople. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The first game in the series to make one location its primary setting, Brotherhood involves Ezio's stay in Rome, where he looks to remove Cesare Borgia's influence. It features a wide range of characters who form part of Ezio's list of allies, with the goal to create an assassin stronghold in the city by recruiting new members. The conspiracy behind the power struggle for Rome and Ezio's struggles to be a leader sets the main campaign at around 15 hours. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? Completionists can spend a much longer time playing, though, as elements like carrying out assassination contracts and playing Ezio's repressed memory sequences bolster the runtime to as much as 41 hours. Taking novice assassins and turning them into masters in their own right takes quite a while, and dedicated players need to put in the time to see it through. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3. Who? Who are you? Hatham Kenway, at your service. Set during the American Revolution, this game's story takes place across 30 years, and the father-son pair of Hatham and Connor Kenway are playable. Still, even with the sprawling setting, the main plot generally skips through the finer details and can be finished in around 16 hours. It's the open-world aspect of things that greatly balloon up Assassin's Creed 3's runtime, as the open frontier is filled with extra content. It's the first time players get to experience naval gameplay, with certain sequences dedicated to guiding Connor across enemy territory. Hunting and expanding Connor's homestead is the primary way to finish off all of Connor's side quests. Ultimately, it takes about 56 hours for completionists to fully explore the open world and round out Connor's adventures from start to finish. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. Assassin's Creed Unity. About that, I had one, of course, but on the web... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Widely regarded as the weakest entry in terms of quality, Unity, nevertheless, has a lot of material for players to immerse themselves in. Set in Paris during the French Revolution, its plot is about Arno Dorian uncovering the conspiracy behind the death of the Templars' Grand Master that leads into another conflict with the Assassins. If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink. The main campaign lasts around 17 hours, and its runtime is bolstered because missions require players to extensively infiltrate large areas to finish off the targets. Of course, it's the additional content that truly makes this a big game, as Unity's co-op feature lasts a long time. With up to four players possible to team up, the missions are narratively driven and contribute to the potential completionist time of 78 hours. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Syndicate. London must be freed. 
to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. The negative reception to the previous game led to a greater focus on the story in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which features twins Jacob and Evie Fry. Looking to take down the Templars' crime syndicates in Victorian London, the protagonists have to navigate across seven boroughs. Even with the story's larger runtime, which generally clocks in around 18 and a half hours, the game had the largest map to offer in the series up until that point. Replay potential mainly comes from the different styles that Evie and Jacob possess, as handling Evie requires players to take on a stealth-based approach, while Jacob is best suited for sequences where combat is involved. Completionists should take about 53 hours to go through all of the burrows to conquer, and the reappearance of defeated enemies means there's enough reason to return to the game for another playthrough. Assassin's Creed 2. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. Considered as the best game in the series by many fans and critics, Assassin's Creed 2's greatest asset is its detailed storyline. It remains one of the most engaging main campaigns for games at the time of its release, with the general time to complete around 19 hours. It begins Ezio's venture into the Assassin's Brotherhood taking place across 23 years as Ezio becomes a master assassin after the death of his father and brothers. With the map containing the six locations of Venice, Florence, Monteregioni, Forlì, San Gimignano, and the Tuscany countryside, each place is relevant to the story. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Completionists should take about 35 hours to check out all that is available to find, such as the Codex pages, the Assassin's Tombs, and turning Monteregioni into a thriving community. Alright, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Assassin's Creed IV, Black Flag. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir, I was. Revamping the gameplay to encourage players to explore the world in a more hands-on way, this game places heavy emphasis on naval missions. The majority of the experience is guiding Edward Kenway across the sea during the Golden Age of Piracy, where he becomes embroiled with the Assassin's Brotherhood. The main campaign generally lasts around 23 hours, with the story featuring well-known pirates like Blackbeard, Mary Reed, and Anne Bonny. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking! In a series' as first, the modern-day elements also take up some time, as players control an Abstergo employee to uncover the Templars' schemes. Side quests are the meatier parts of the overall experience, so battles to conquer pieces of land and taking down powerful ships and boss fights are regularly featured. It can take up to 60 hours to fully appreciate life as a pirate for what is arguably Assassin's Creed's most creative entry. Assassin's Creed Origins. I see you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? Origins represents a pivotal point in the series where the open world became a true selling point for every game. It's set in Ptolemaic Egypt, where players control Majai Bayek, who seeks revenge against the men that caused the death of his son. The story campaign takes a detailed look into how the future Brotherhood was established, with Bayek and his estranged wife Amunet forming the Hidden Ones. As part of the gameplay, we need to hunt down all of Bayek's targets, which can extend even beyond the main storyline. <laughs> On its own, the core campaign lasts around 30 hours in total, during which players control Bayek across Egypt. Origin's greater side material, comprising gladiator quests, raiding pyramids, fighting monsters of legend and more, all contribute to the completionist time of around 83 hours. However, more time is usually spent by players because of repeated playthroughs. <laughs> Promise me you will not become consumed with your vengeance, Bayek. I think of nothing else. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, 
But there are many gods in this cave, all asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. The series became part of the role-playing genre starting from Odyssey, which gives players the choice to control either Alexios or Cassandra, although Cassandra is the canonical main character. Set during the Peloponnesian War, the story is about Cassandra's attempts to reunite her family and takes place across the Greek city-states. Odyssey's main campaign is a huge undertaking because of the many choices that diverge one scenario from another. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. Due to this, players have to return to previous moments in order to unlock different endings. All in all, the story in its entirety lasts about 43 hours, but to truly complete the game is another matter. Hunting down the Cult of Cosmos requires fully enhancing the skill tree through the open world experiences, meaning finishing the whole game can go as long as 130 hours or more. You! Let's see what kind of skill you have! Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly! With the main character taken to different settlements each time a new story begins, Valhalla was designed in such a way that the campaign dedicates more than several hours to each arc. It can take around 50 to 60 hours just to complete the storyline, but sequences set in Norse mythology can extend that further. Players control Ivor, who has so many RPG elements in her story that it takes multiple playthroughs to see how many scenarios are possible. Then I tell you, you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. Valhalla's open world is the series' most massive one, stretching across the entire British Isles during the Viking expansions. In fact, the extensive time to complete the game is also a point against Valhalla's favor, as there's just too much traversing required to see everything. All things considered, it can take upwards of 135 hours for completionists, and even then some scenarios might be left to consider. I will. Thank you, Hytham, for all of this. Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays.